This time, we will learn how to use the model 5481 digital vertical incline of the system, manufactured by our company. Model 5481 digital vertical incline of the system is designed and made in pursuit of high responsiveness, high reliability, and ultra lightness, and is an equipment that measures the horizontal displacement of the ground by installing the inclinometer casing in the perforation. The digital vertical inclinometer system consists of a digital inclinometer probe and control cable, a Bluetooth reel, cable guide, a dedicated spanner and a charging adapter and can be downloaded and operated by our company's dedicated app, Inclinement Collector, to an Android smartphone or VDA with individuals or companies. The Bluetooth layer of the digital vertical incline of the system is divided into the on and off button, the power status indicator, green LED, the battery status indicator, red LED, the Bluetooth status indicator, blue LED, the charging connector, and the probe holder. The dedicated app for model 5481 is available on all smartphones with Android 4.3 or higher OS. And the Android dedicated app including the collector can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. This time, you will look at how to connect the Bluetooth layer and the inclinometer collector dedicated app. When you turn on the power of the Bluetooth reel, the blue LED of Bluetooth flashes. Activate the Bluetooth option on the settings screen of the smartphone or PDA. Automatically detects and displays Bluetooth device on smartphone or PDAs. In the list of the connectable device, the access number of the 10-digit Bluetooth reel is displayed as ACEDP07XXX. Since each Bluetooth reel has a different access number, you have to connect after checking. When you select ACEDP07XXX, a window for registering Bluetooth device is created. Enter 0000 for the PIN number to complete registration. The Bluetooth reel and the smartphone are connected and the blue LED light up. Now we will look at a simple setting method for the inclinometer corrector app. If you touch the action bar at the top right of the app, a menu to set the S functions is displayed. The battery check menu displays the current battery level of Bluetooth reel and smartphone or VDA. In the email orders menu, you can enter up to 5 email addresses to send data. Measured option of enter menu is an option to select the manual function to save data by touching the enter button at each measurement point during measurement. And the auto function to automatically save data according to the set time interval. In the user menu, enter the user's name and information. The sound menu is a function that notifies the activation status and storage status of the enter button by sound, which is a data stabilization indicator that can save data during measurement. Measured adjust menu is an option applied for data stabilization display and measurement and can be used by changing it according to the field situation. Stable count. As a standard for displaying enter, 
which is a stable state during measurement. It can be used by changing it according to the site condition. However, since it is a very important setting, it is recommended to use the default setting as possible. Saving time. The unit is second and the default setting is one second. When you touch enter, the data will be saved and create a saved pop-up window for one second. For automating measurement, set the time including the time to fold up the cable and mount it on the cable guide. Auto time delay. The unit is seconds and the default setting is 2 seconds. In automatic measurement, if the user does not touch enter and keeps the time set with enter enabled, it is the time to be automatically touched and saved. The real-time status of reading menu is a function that displays the value of data being measured in real-time as a graph. Set the graph range by setting the range value. About application menu is the version information of the Incline with the Corrector app. Exit closes the Incline with the Corrector app. Next, we will look at how to measure and store data. Touch data storage on the main screen of the app. When you run the app for the first time, there is no previous setting and measurement information, so the site list is empty. Select Add New Site to add the site name. The site name can be edited and deleted and it is executed when the button is flashed for about more than one second. Select the site name in the site list and go to the measuring hole selection window. When you launch the app for the first time, the whole list is empty because there are no previous settings and measurement information. Select add new hole to add a measuring hole. Site name is the site name and is displayed as the site name set in the previous step. For hole name, enter the measuring hole name. Bottom depth is enter the depth to start measurement. Top depth is enter the end depth of the measurement. Interval enters the measurement interval. You must enter up to the first decimal place and enter it in 0.5 meter minimum. Unit is a unit over measurement of displacement and uses metric. Description and age memo are for reference. Enter the site description and the memo for the main measurement direction, age of direction. Select the save button to save the settings. Select a measuring hole in the site hole list and go to the measurement mode window. The initial screen of the measurement displays the name of the site to be measured, the name of the measuring hole and the depth of measurement depth. The progress bar at the bottom shows the progress of measurement in the 0 and 180 directions as a percentage in real time. When measuring, if data is not stable, orange unstable display is activated, and when data is stable and can be stored, blue stable duration display is activated. At this time, touch the blue button to save the measurement data.